Hello, and welcome to the Midnight Developer Tutorial, Part 1, Setting Up Your Environment, by DevRel Engineer and the Midnight Team, Ahmed El Mahdi. In this tutorial, we'll be setting up our environment and getting ready to build and run Midnight dApps. This tutorial will focus on the Windows operating system, and we'll be using Windows Subsystem for Linux, so we're going to get that installed. We're going to install Docker to be able to run our proof server, as well as the Midnight Lace Wallet, and get that also up so that we can send and receive TDust, which is Midnight's current token in testnet. The very first thing we're going to do is install Windows Subsystem for Linux. So to do that, press on Start, open up Windows PowerShell, and type in WSL dash dash install space dash D space Ubuntu. And this tells PowerShell that we want to install Windows Subsystem with Linux with the Ubuntu distribution. The installation itself might take a few minutes. Then it will ask you to create a username and create a password. When you enter your password, you will not see any characters. So as you're entering it, you have to trust that it's being entered correctly. And you do that twice. And then once it's done, you'll see the username that you gave it at the name for your current desktop. And then you know that it is installed. Next up, head over to docker.com and download the correct installer for your CPU's architecture. For me, that is AMD64. And while that is being downloaded, head over to our releases page on docs.midnight.network forward slash rel notes forward slash overview and navigate over to the Lace wallet and download the latest version from there. Once you have downloaded the Lace wallet, create a new folder called Lace wallet and extract the contents of the Lace wallet zip file into that folder. Chrome will now use this folder as the default folder to run the Midnight Lace Wallet extension. So it's really important you don't move this, otherwise Chrome will get confused. Once it's been extracted, we can now install the Lace Wallet. To do that, go to your Chrome browser, go to the top right, click on the three dots, go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and then it'll take you to the Extensions page. On the top right, toggle Developer Mode on, and then once that's done, you'll see an option to Load Unpack. Click on that, and then direct it to where you have your Lace Wallet extracted folder. Once that's done, you should now be able to run the Midnight Lace Wallet through your extensions on the Chrome browser. So head on to the top right, click on the Midnight Lace Wallet, and watch it expand. Next, it's time for us to set up the Lace Wallet. Agree to the terms and conditions, and then give your wallet a name. Once you have given your wallet a name, you also need to create a password that is strong enough to satisfy the Lace Wallet conditions. Once you've done that, you'll see the endpoints for this test wallet. Make sure it's set up for testnet and make note of them since they may come in handy later. Next up is the 16 word recovery phrase. It's really important that you keep a note of the 16 words in the same order they reveal to you as Lace will ask you to confirm them in the order they're shown to you in order to finish the setup for the wallet. It's also really good practice from now to keep them safe and secure and to not reveal them to anyone even though there's no real word value in the token and this is only a test wallet. This will ensure that once we're in mainnet and once you have tokens with real world value, you've already gone into the best practices of keeping your 16 word recovery phrase safe and secure. Once you have finished the setup, copy the lace wallet address that is shown to you because it's now time to acquire some TDust from the Midnight Test Net Faucet. To gain access to the Midnight Test Net Faucet, Go to our developer documentation and under Midnight Developer Tutorial Part 1.2, you should see the link for the Midnight Testnet faucet there. Click on it and then paste your address into the faucet and click on Request Tokens. You will then see a acknowledgement saying your transaction has been submitted. This may take two minutes. Please have some patience. It may take a little longer depending on the state of the faucet. Once that is complete, you'll see another acknowledgement, this time in green, saying transaction submitted and now you received a thousand TDUST. This may also take a couple of minutes, so please do have patience. But once it has been complete, one, you will go to your Midnight Lace wallet and you should see the 1000 TDUST in there. The next and final step in setting up our environment is Docker Desktop. We'll need to first download the Midnight Proof Server image and then we need to run it and make sure that everything is targeting the testnet correctly. To download the Midnight Proof Server, Go to Docker and then search Midnight Network with no spaces. The first result should be the proof server and then click on pull and it will automatically download the latest version of the proof server. 
This may take a couple of minutes depending on the internet download speed, but once it has completed, click on images on the left and you should see the proof server there. Give it a run and you'll notice that it's running by targeting the undeployed and not targeting testnet. So to fix that, we'll run it from the Windows PowerShell command line. Head back over to the docs and this time go to 1.3 proof server and scroll down to where you see start the proof server. In there is a command that you can copy and run directly in your PowerShell in order to run the proof server targeting the testnet network. As you can see in my PowerShell console, the proof server is now currently running targeting the testnet. And this concludes part one of the Minute Developer Tutorial. And we can now move into part two where we have the setup running and actually build our dApps.